Hello everyone, it's me, Janice May, and today we have a very simple tutorial on how to make this headband that I'm wearing. Made out of paper beads, of course, but uh, the finding is just something that I took apart. It's a headband that you can buy at uh, the beauty aisle of your supermarket and then I just took it apart and replaced it with paper beads like I normally do almost with everything so um, you can make them in different size and shapes it doesn't have to be just the round beads like this one so uh, it's going to be a fun tutorial. Let's begin. Hello everyone. So this is a really a simple tutorial. Uh, but before that, this is the headband that I was showing you earlier. And mainly made out of the small round paper beads. So when there's the smaller the beads will work best for a headband or tubes little tubes like the little petite paper beads would work best it doesn't have to be just the round beads again this is just using simple memory wire I'm sorry simple <laughs> rosary wire loops so let's go over the materials first you need this uh, elastic that goes in the back of your headband and I got mine from this headband so you see this uh, they sell them in uh, in a pack like there's three or two in a pack and what I did is I just snipped that off. You know, you can wear a headband like that, but that's ordinary. It does not really, um, it's something that everyone has is what I'm trying to say. But you can change it into something that's just going to totally uh, make it special. So all I did was just, uh, you know, snip off. This is like plastic. And so I can use the elastic. Okay. So now you have this. So uh, I've shown you in my other videos how to do a simple rosary wire loop. But sometimes it's hard to find these videos, especially I have several ones. So what you need is a 20 gauge wire. So I find a 20 gauge works best. And this comes in different colors. You can go uh, gold, silver, even blue, magenta. Uh, this one is copper. So um, 20 gauge would work best. And you will cut your wire, you know, uh, that's about, I think, two inches. Again, it depends on, you can get away with shorter wire. It depends on the beads that you're using. So very quickly, all you need to do is, uh, bend your wire at an L, L uh, shape. So I'm just uh, guesstimating that. But, you know, again, it depends on uh, the loop that you want to make. So you want to make a bigger loop, especially in the beginning, big enough to accommodate the elastic that you're using. So very simply is just, you know, bend it towards you like so, and then reposition your pliers, 
and continue continue bending until uh, you have a loop like so do you see it okay and then you will take your paper bead since I'm using the round bead so let's do a round bead and again bend it into an L and cut it down this is a little over one-fourth of an inch but uh, again it depends on how big your you want your loop to be but the first loop should be big enough to accommodate your elastic so just do the same thing and then you would fix it so that the openings are facing opposite each other like the opening is that the facing that way and this opening is facing this way so there's your finish uh, wired bead so uh, like you will make long enough to go over your head I made this as a template so this is how long it's going to be I actually made it shorter because I find this too loose for my head so then very simply all you need to do is open your loop and the way you open your rosary wire loop is just that way just pull it up like that and then I would just simply uh, put it over I'm sorry a little uh, bigger this is what I'm saying that your loop has to be big enough to accommodate your elastic so I just open it a little wider and now you have this okay and then you will then close it like so okay so then you attach the three of them and you do the same thing on the other side after you've made a few of these to go around your head so very simple there you go and then make it long enough to go on the other side like so and that's what I did with this okay there's the start of it and I made it long enough to go around and I connected on the other side and I love the feel, feel of this on your head it's not gonna slip slide because somehow uh, it stays put and it's going to be a perfect kind of hair accessory so there you have it I hope you've learned something new today Till next time, thanks for watching.